Um, everyone is in from the waiting room. Uh, wonderful. Uh, good, uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, we're excited to speak with everyone today. Um, I just wanted to send a couple of reminders. If you could please make sure you're staying on mute. Um, I wanted to let everyone know that we're recording this Zoom um, so that we can share it with any families that aren't able to join us. Um, and if you would like to access Spanish interpretation, um, you can click on the button on the bottom that says interpretation, and then you'll be able to select a Spanish translation or interpretation of this Zoom. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, if we could move to the next slide. Um, we have a couple of highlights to share from quarter one, um, as well as some upcoming events. Um, we wanted to chat with you all about our reopening plans um, and about some supports that we're offering for families. And then we'll do a Q&A at the end. Um, and so with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Gardner. All right. Thank you, Emily. Good evening, everyone. I hope you are all still safe and well. Um, we wanted to start with the mission just to reinforce that that this is really a, a long term journey and, and that we know that the present is really difficult, but sometimes it's helpful in the present to think about the long term. Uh, and actually, just just before this, uh, I was on a zoom with one of our eighth graders who was getting ready to apply to selective secondary schools to high schools and this was a scholar who has grown so much in his time at alma and he was sharing with me the story of how and he re used to really struggle in english and in reading and how uh, this year as an eighth grader he's doing so well and he was talking about the books that he was reading um, and preparing to, to interview for some of these selective schools um, and that kind of development that kind of growth uh, takes time and it's it's a long journey and when you enrolled your child here at Alma you started a nine-year journey um, and we know that at the end of that journey your scholar is going to go into high school um, successful and, and on track to college and we are still holding by that commitment holding by our mission I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, try to slow myself down. I apologize for uh, the interpreting. I just want to add that I think, you know, we're, we're, um, we're still in this really tough pandemic and we know that it can feel like this will last forever um, and it won't. We, we will get through this and we are here with you and your scholar now and we will be with them for this mission for the long term. Um, and most of our scholars right now are learning remotely. And I just wanna emphasize that remote school is real school. And our scholars are doing some tremendous work so far this year. Uh, and Alexa Tevens is going to share with you all now uh, some of the many highlights that we've seen already in this very different year. Yes, thank you. Um... So as we've been sharing um, all year long, we've had very strong attendance. Um, we've been at around 94% across our network, across both campuses in all grades. So thank you for everything you're doing to make sure your scholars are prepared to join their classmates um, remotely or in person every single day. Um, we have had an opportunity here to help all of our scholars and our teachers um, develop stronger skills in technology and navigating all of our online platforms. Um, and so we're excited to see, um, you know, our youngest scholars getting some more of that computer fluency and our oldest scholars learning how to navigate their emails and their calendars in a way that is setting them up to be successful um, in high school and college and beyond. Um, our teachers and our, um, our staff have still been able to build strong relationships with scholars and help scholars maintain strong relationships with each other. Um, in kindergarten and first grade, we've been building up our academic program. And so just in the last week or two, we've added some more learning time in kindergarten and first grade 
after starting the school year um, with just a morning synchronous schedule. Um, at both campuses, we've started rolling out virtual town halls happening in smaller groups in grade levels or smaller um, grade bands um, on Fridays to continue to celebrate scholars' achievement and um, uh, success throughout the week. Um, we just finished our first round of quarterly interim assessments, so we're able to compare performance of scholars in ELA and math from previous years when we've been in person to now. Um, and you'll have an opportunity to hear more from your scholars teachers next week on how they were performing and um, what they'll be working on for quarter two. Um, we last week had our supply pickup. We hope that many or all of you were able to come and pick up the books and other supplies that your scholars will use in quarter two in their classes. And if not, um, we welcome you to come to our meal pickup to get those supplies um, so that we're making sure scholars have everything they need to be successful at home. Um, and we've even been able to preserve having some virtual experts come. So we know that's um, been a special part of our expeditions every year. And so for our elementary school scholars who were learning about elections, we had some um, community members come and speak with them. And our sixth grade scholars were learning about workers' rights and they were able to have some community members come and speak with them as well. So we found opportunities to connect our scholars with community members even in the remote setting. And all set for the next slide. Um, so while we're in remote learning, um, we have some suggestions here for how you can support your scholar um, during the school day. Um, it is helpful for them to be working in a quiet place with access to an outlet so they can um, focus and have power on their Chromebooks. Um, please make sure scholars' school supplies um, that they've been getting from us are nearby and organized. So if they need their whiteboard or if they need their book for humanities class, they have easy access to that. Um, please continue to stay in close contact with your child's teacher. Um, they are certainly the first person you should go to if you have any questions or concerns about um, your scholar's progress or their schedule or what they're working on. Um, and they can keep you posted on your scholar's performance. Um, if you would like to be um, included in your scholar's Seesaw or Google Classroom, um, platform where they can. Um, oh, I think Marie, I need to um, add you back to be the interpreter. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, we're just going to pause a moment. We're having a little bit of uh, technical difficulty with our interpreting. Um, I can I to interpret here now. Yeah, I think I'm not, I'm not able to um, add you, Marie, so I think you can just do it from here for now, and then I can work on that. Um, so yeah, so like I was saying, um, uh, your scholar is logging on to Seesaw if they're in kindergarten through second grade or Google Classroom, and you can ask the teacher to have your email address included so you can get updates from your teacher that way. So, su niño puede uh, apuntarse para CISA o Google Classroom y usted puede preguntarle a la maestra um, por el email y usted puede entrar de esa manera. Um, it is helpful for your scholar to have a consistent routine. So, in our schedule, we have recommended times for them to be taking breaks and eating lunch um, to help them um, have a consistent daily schedule around their classes. Um, so, we recommend that you help them hold that schedule at home. Tenemos una rutina diaria con los estudiantes, so um, pedimos que usted haga la misma rutina, ya que cuando están en la escuela, ellos tienen una rutina de qué hora comen almuerzo y todo. Um, and finally, um, please talk to your scholar about what they're learning. Ask them um, about their classes and what they're reading and what they're studying um, so they can share with you and make connections between their classes um, and their life at home. Y finalmente, por favor, pregúntele a sus escolares qué aprendieron durante el día para que así de esa manera usted lo pueda ayudar con lo que están aprendiendo en la escuela con lo mismo en el hogar. Great, and we can go to the next slide, Becca. 
Um, so hopefully you have received some notifications about our family conferences that are coming up. Please make sure that you sign up for a slot in the Google form link that Mr. Marco will also drop in the chat right now. Um, uh, asegúrese de que usted se apuntó para conferencias um, para la, las conferencias de escuela para que usted tenga el, el reporte también de escuela. Um, our appointments will all take place on Zoom and we will make sure that you are receiving via text and online the link um, that you'll use for each of your children's conferences. Um, and feel free to use your child's Chromebook. We know that that has Zoom capabilities and it'll be easy to log on, so that might be the best way to do it. So, ustedes van a recibir por texto o, o le van a, a mandar un, un, un mensaje de Zoom, un código de Zoom para que usted pueda entrar. Usted puede entrar en los Chromebooks de los académicos. Eso sería más fácil para ustedes también. Um, we also thank you for sharing your email addresses every time you've done a survey um, for us and perhaps also sharing it with your scholars teachers. That's how we, we will mail report cards, but we will also plan to email you a copy so that we're sure you have one. Um, so please make sure you have an email address to check so that we can um, get you your report cards to for you. So, la tarjeta um, de reporte va a ser mandada por um, email. So, asegúrese de que su maestro tenga en su dirección de correo correcto para que usted pueda recibir las notas o las calificaciones de su estudiante. Um, and finally, we will be, uh, it will be a pretty tight ship because um, we'll have to be running these Zoom appointments back to back. So, please make sure you're on time for your conference so that we can make sure that um, we can stay on schedule for all of our families. Y finalmente va a ser, um, vamos a tener muchas, um, um, muchas, mu muchas reuniones, um, una después de la otra. So, por favor, usted esté a tiempo para que nosotros podamos estar a tiempo para todas las reuniones por Zoom. Um, thank you. And then I'm passing it back over to Mr. Gardner, I believe. Thanks, Stevens. Uh, so, as, as we've stated from the beginning of this year, we have four priorities this year. The first is ensuring everyone in our school community is safe and healthy. The second is promoting equity. The third is investing in crew and community, those relationships that really make Alma special. And the fourth is rebuilding our academic core, making sure that our scholars are not only catching up academically from last spring, uh, but they're really moving forward in their grade level academics. Um, como habíamos hablado al principio, um, tenemos prioridades de reapertura. La primera es garantizando la salud y seguridad de los escolares, el personal y sus familias. La segunda es promoviendo la equidad. La, la tercera es invirtiendo en, en la tripulación y en nuestra comunidad. Y la cuarta es reconstruyendo nuestro núcleo académico. We can go to the next slide. Also at the start of the year, uh, we, we said that we would need to be adaptable this year. We'd need to be able to switch between being uh, more restrictive and less restrictive with our learning model. So we started the year all the way over to the left in a fully remote model. And we would like to start moving toward the middle as soon as it's feasible, as soon as it's safe. Um, we likely won't get all the way over, or we know we won't get all the way over to the right this year of being back fully in person, just like it was before the pandemic. Um, but again, we're going to have to be flexible uh, and we're going to have to be ready at all times. Even if we start to move more scholars to be in person, we're gonna have to be ready to switch back to fully remote. So, hemos hablado de nuestra disponibilidad de adaptarse. Um, so, empezamos con un modelo um, completamente remoto um, por computadora. Um, nuestra espera es que podamos mudar, movernos más a la derecha, um, pero honestamente no sabemos si podemos um, movernos completamente a la derecha a estar um, completamente en persona todavía. Go to the next. So, we are unfortunately uh, entering what looks like another wave of this pandemic. We don't know how long it will last. Uh, and as Emily is going to talk about next, the spread of the virus in our community is rising. Uh, one fortunate thing is that we have not seen 
uh, the virus spread in schools at Alma or elsewhere in the state. Uh, but the challenge is that the um, given the amount of community spread, the amount of quarantining um, and the amount of staying at home that scholars and staff have to do uh, means that with, with high rates, um, if, if the rates are really high, it makes it very difficult uh, to have in-person school without having to be open and shut a lot. So, nuestra... En nuestro plan de reapertura de escuela, en estos momentos tenemos solamente al grupo A en persona. Um, no, y en estos momentos no tenemos ningún cambio porque los números han subido mucho y no es, no, no todavía no, no encontramos que es seguro para nosotros movernos a uh -huh. We are hoping that this next wave of the pandemic starts to subside. We are hoping that this wave of the pandemic hopes to subside as we get into the new year. We know that the virus will be with us to some extent for the rest of the year. Esperamos que este, estos nuevos casos um, empiecen a bajar, um, pero um, seguiremos ver a cómo esto baja para el final del año. When this wave subsides, uh, we're hoping to get more scholars in the building. Based on what we're seeing academically and what we're hearing from many of you, we're going to prioritize getting our youngest scholars, kindergarten, first grade, possibly second grade, in person as much as possible in the new year. So, en cuanto eh, los números bajen y, y pare est, esto, esta nueva... Um, Cuando, que han subido los números, um, esperamos a, prioriza, a, priori, a tener prioridad a los escolares más jóvenes para que puedan regresar a la escuela a los, más, a los grados más pequeños. Um, and I want to clarify, when I say the new year, um, we're, we're, not, we're likely not talking January, uh, given, given where the virus is at right now. So we're, we're probably looking at uh, at least February. So, también quería clarificar que cuando estoy hablando del año nuevo que vamos a, a tratar de traer a más personas, um, no, honestamente no creo que va a ser enero, va a ser más probablemente febrero. Alongside lower grade cohorts, we're going to prioritize um, additional uh, higher need scholars for whom remote learning is a real barrier to learning. Vamos a, a, priori, a tener prioridad para los escolares um, más pequeños porque e, ellos um, tra, estudiando en línea es más dificultoso para ellos. The uh, challenge we face in addition to uh, ensuring health and safety with the virus itself is with social distancing. And with social distancing, there's a smaller number of kids that we can have per room and we only have so much space and we only have so much staff. El otro problema que nosotros enfrentamos con uh, la reapertura es um, el distanciamiento social. Um, tenemos que tener distanciamiento social y con esto quiere decir que solo podemos tener unos cuantos estudiantes y, y tenemos que tener maestros suficientes para uh, enseñarle a cada estudiante. We are not currently considering an alternating hybrid schedule where scholars are in a couple of days of the week and then remote a couple of days of the week for uh, any cohorts at this time. We have a strong remote learning program that is getting stronger by the day. Switching to some kind of alternating schedule would likely diminish the quality of what scholars are doing on their, are then doing on their remote days. Given what we know that our older scholars are capable of through remote learning and the real need that we're seeing at the lower elementary level, we're likely going to prioritize in person for our lower scholars until we have additional space or until we can relax social distancing. 
si vamos a una manera más híbrida, um, no estamos planeando de tener um, unos días sí en la escuela y unos días no en la escuela, porque nuestra, nuestra, um, nuestro currículo académico en, en computadora es muy arduo y está trabajando muy bien para los demás estudiantes y no queríamos que, que dividir ese tiempo. So, um, vamos a, priori a tener prioridad de que los niños más pequeños y los grados más pequeños entren primero y, y ya sabemos Sabemos que los grados más altos se están haciendo bien por computadoras o vamos a enfocarnos más en eso. So I'm giving you this preview now on how we're thinking about it uh, and we'll give you a more thorough update on our reopening plans uh, on the December 15th Zoom. So le estoy dando un, una, un, le estoy dando un poquito de lo que estamos pensando en este momento, pero le vamos mm -hmm. a hablar más a, a en detalles en, el, en nuestro próximo Um, reunión de Zoom. Uh, it's really important uh, that we continue to get uh, as much input from all of you as possible. We know many of you have already filled out the family survey. Uh, please do that. In addition, if you have input and ideas about our reopening plans, please feel free to even email me directly. Uh, Español está bien también. Uh, and just let me know your thoughts and I'll drop my email in the chat as well. Dice que, que su información y su, y su ayuda es muy importante que usted llene las encuestas para nosotros saber lo que usted está pensando. Y si usted tiene alguna, uh, alguna sugerencia o idea de cómo podemos hacer uh, algo mejor, por favor, mándeme un, un email al señor Will. Puede ser en español también. Gracias. Uh, and I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Darrow. La señora Darrow. Yes, um, so I wanted to speak briefly to uh, this, the status of coronavirus in our New Bedford community. Uh, as many of you have seen in the news, rates of COVID-19 are going up in New Bedford. They're also going up in the state of Massachusetts as well as nationally. Quería hablar brevemente de, del estatus del coronavirus. Um, como usted puede ver, los, los números han subido en New Bedford y están subiendo en Massachusetts y están subiendo nacionalmente. So the chart that you see on your screen right now are rates of COVID-19 in New Bedford over the past three or four months. Um, and you can see that there's been a sharp increase in particular in the last three or four weeks. So la gráfica que usted ve a, a continuación es cómo ha subido aquí en New Bedford. Y como usted puede notar, ha subido mucho en las últimas tres a cuatro semanas. Uh, we can go to the next slide. Um, so we're asking for all of your help so that we're able to uh, bring your scholars back in person as soon as possible, as Mr. Gardner was saying, to please help keep our community safe. So estamos pidiendo que usted tome todas las, las, las precauciones para, y, y haga lo que tenga que hacer para que todos podamos regresar uh, y mantenernos sanos. We're asking that everyone who's part of the Alma community, just as the expectations are for everyone, Uh, please wear your mask when you're outside of your home. Please practice social distancing when you're out in the community. Um, and please let us know if anyone in your family or your scholar comes in contact with someone who's positive for COVID-19 so we can help support you if there's anything we can do. And we also understand if your scholar is dealing with something like that or a family member is. Um, while your child's participating in remote learning, it's still helpful to know. So queríamos decirle a todos los que están en la escuela y también los que están fuera que usen sus máscaras a todo tiempo cuando estén fuera del hogar, que practiquen distanciamiento social y que por favor si contacten a Alma, si usted o alguien en su familia um, está positivo al, coron al corona, aunque, aunque no esté en persona en la escuela, nosotros podemos uh, ayudarles y sería bueno que supiéramos como comunidad. Um, I also wanted to speak a little bit about the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. Um, I think this is a really challenging year for many families, myself included, as we think about how we'll need to make changes to our Thanksgiving plans. Um, and it's very challenging not to be able to do the same uh, activities and see the same family that we would see in a normal year. También quería hablarles sobre el Día de Acción de Gracias. Sé que para mí va a ser un poco dificultoso como para muchos de ustedes que no van a poder ver a muchas familias que normalmente vemos en los Días de Acción de Gracias. 
what you see on your screen is the recommendations for the Department of Health. Um, so that goes for all of our staff. Those are recommended for all of our scholars and their families. Um, and again, that's just to, in, to uh, protect the safety of our community. So we're asking that everyone please do your best to limit the size of the gatherings that you're attending and to stay within your household as well as avoiding travel. Um, and there's more information um, that we can send out after this. So estas recomendaciones son del Departamento de Salud para todos los que trabajan aquí, para todos los escolares, las familias y todo el New Bedford para que mantenemos saludables a nuestra comunidad. Um, por favor, mantenga um, pocas personas en su hogar. Um, limite las personas y, y manténgase con su familia um, inminente. Um, yeah. Y le vamos a mandar más información sobre esto luego. Yes, um, and so the last thing related to public health that we wanted to share um, is that this year, as many of you have seen, uh, the flu shot is required for all school-aged scholars, whether they're remote or in person. Um, and so thank you to the many of you who have already shared uh, the documentation of your child's flu shot with us. Um, So, esto es acerca de la, la vacuna de la influenza. Um, es, es requerida por el estado de Massachusetts este año. So, gracias a todos los que ya nos han dado la información um, de la vacuna. Um, there, as in a regular year, there is a religious or medical exemption, um, but we need that, we either need the documentation of the flu shot for everyone, or we need your exemption paperwork. So we need one of those two things from every family um, by January 1st, 2021. So, um, también tenemos, hay una exempción por, por maneras religiosas o médicas. Um, so, antes de enero 21 necesitamos o, o, o los papeles de que usted le dio la vacuna o los papeles de exempción diciendo por qué no puede tener la vacuna. Uh, so your scholars will also be hearing about a competition to help gather all this documentation. Um, so please stay tuned for more information about that. También sus escolares van a hablar sobre una, una competencia para tener toda esta documentación, so esté pendiente. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Marco. Hi, uh, thank you. I just wanted to give a quick um, plug and shout out to some things we have um, happening every day at the school. And the big one is the Alma Grab and Go food service that is happening daily at both campuses. Hola, este es el señor Marco. Él dice que él quería hablarle de las cosas que están ocurriendo diariamente en la escuela. Una de ellos es el recojo de almuerzo, de almuerzo um, que está ocurriendo todos los días en ambas escuelas, en ambos campuses. As you can see on the screen, we offer um, food pickup options five days a week, Monday through Friday. They're from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. at the rear entrance of Ottawell, and from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. at the rear entrance of the Douglas campus. So, como pueden ver a continuación, estamos dando comidas de almuerzo y desayunos diarios. Va a ser de 9 a 10 y media en la mañana en la entrada trasera del, de la escuela Ottawell y de 4 a 5 y media um, en la entrada trasera de la escuela Douglas. And an exciting thing coming up next week with Thanksgiving is that Marie is putting um, together a service for some families that would like a turkey dinner. Um, so she's going to be passing out turkeys next week on Monday and Tuesday. Um, so if you're interested, um, please reach out. Her number is on the screen. So, también lo que está ocurriendo que es exitoso es que este lunes y martes yo voy a estar repartiendo um, pavos para las familias, los primeros que entren. So, las familias que están necesitadas y, y, y necesiten algo adicional, por favor, comuníquese conmigo. Cool, and we can jump to the next slide. Awesome, I also wanted to plug um, the Alma Family Survey, which many of you have already gotten via text. Um, yes. So, también quería hablar sobre la encuesta de Alma de los Padres, que muchos de ustedes han recibido por texto. 
this new survey um, is a little different. It actually asks some academic program questions, which will be really helpful for us um, when we're planning how we are gonna try to bring back scholars this coming um, year. Esta encuesta es un poco más diferente porque también tiene preguntas sobre lo académico, um, que eso nos va a ayudar a determinar um, cómo vamos a empezar este año, al final del año, terminar el año. As soon as I finish my section, I will drop in the chat um, the family survey, a English and a Spanish version. En cuanto él termine su sección, él, él va a poner en el chat um, el... El, el link para que usted pueda abrir la encuesta en inglés y en español. Great. Next slide, please. Another thing that um, is just going on this week, for the first time, our Scholar application is live. So you can now visit our website and apply um, for enrollment for next year. So, otra cosa que está sucediendo eh, ahora es que nuestra aplicación por primera vez va a ser en vivo. So, usted puede entrar en la computadora y aplicar para que usted pueda ser um, escogido este año o, o pueda aplicar para este año. In the coming years, Alma is going to grow to serve over 1,000 scholars in New Bedford. So, we really need all the help we can get to spread the word that this opportunity is available. So if you can help, please reach out directly to me and my email is on the screen. En los años que vienen, en los años siguientes, Alma va a crecer, a tener más de mil estudiantes. Son la ayuda de todos ustedes. Sería muy buena que por favor nos ayuden a, a decirle a todos que apliquen para él. Thank you so much. And I believe, Marie, I'm just going to pass it off to you for the next slide. Gracias a todos. Um, so I am going to be next. <laughs> so, um, so I am Marie and um, I'm going to talk about Families Helping Families Meetups. It's a group um, that you can all be part of. Um, and how it works is one meetup Alma parent and guardian meets up with other fa Alma families. And this is a group so you can um, get information and help each other. And it's kind of like a support group. It's something that we actually need here at Alma. So if you're interested in joining, um, there's different times that you can choose. And um, we have different languages also. So just give me, contact me if you're interested in joining uh, Alma Meetup. And what's exciting is we're gonna start doing um, some surveys um, this starting week coming up. Um, sorry, so we're gonna be doing some raffles this week coming up. Um, hola padres, so yo quería decirle de nuestro grupo que se llama Alma Meetups y, es, y lo que es es donde un, unos padres se reúnen um, por vía Zoom y así ellos pueden hablar y ayudarse los unos a los otros. Es como apoyarse los unos a los otros. Um, es, usted puede escoger el tiempo y el horario que usted desee. Um, si está interesado, por favor comuníquese conmigo y lo que es bueno de esto es que vamos a empezar esta semana a hacer rifas um, para que las familias vengan. Uh, wonderful. So we just wanted to remind everyone to please um, stay in touch and continue communicating as always with your scholars teacher. And please make sure that we always have updated contact information for you, um, especially with our upcoming conferences and report cards. Um, and as we go into this very busy season of the year. Um, so now we're going to train. Oh, I'll, I'll pause there. Sorry. Lo que quería decirles, recordarles que por favor se mantengan en comunicación con los maestros de su escolar para que usted pueda tener la información y nos diga cómo está yendo y cómo le está yendo todo hasta el final de este año. Es in importante que usted se comunique y puede comunicarse por email o por texto. Uh, wonderful. And now um, we have a few minutes left. If there are any questions, um, why don't we go ahead and put your question in the chat um, and then we will uh, answer them as they come in. Thank you so much for joining us. So, eso es todo. So, si tienen preguntas, puede poner preguntas en el chat y nosotros lo contestaremos cuando tenga. Eso es todo. Gracias mucho por estar con nosotros aquí hoy.
Um, there's a question about the nurse's email or phone number send in the immunization information. Definitely. Uh, Marco, can you put the nurse's email in the chat when you have a second? Thank you. Yes, that's okay. We can give you both a phone number. Um, I know we have some families who've been just texting the picture of the immunization, which is fine. Um, you're not required to necessarily bring it to the building. So la pregunta era que si teníamos un email para la enfermera para que le puedan mandar la información de las vacunas. Um, y él dijo que van a poner en el chat el número de teléfono de la enfermera y el, y el, y el email, porque algunas de las familias también están mandándole una foto del documento, así no tienen que venir a, en persona a la escuela. Um, I just received a question. What if I choose to keep my child home for the remainder of the year? Uh, that will, of course, uh, be an option. So remote learning will uh, remain an, an option for uh, every scholar in every grade. So la pregunta era, ¿qué, ¿qué hago si yo quiero que mi niño se quede en el hogar al resto del año? Por, por remoto y el, el señor Gardner contestó que si eso es una opción que tienen la opción de escoger si ustedes quieren en persona o en remoto. Um, there's a question in the chat about if you had to join late where you can find this information. Thank you. Um, we are recording as I said at the top of the meeting um, and so we'll be able to put out this uh, recording so you can see the whole thing and um, we'll also put out a letter just restating the information that we uh, we shared here tonight. So la pregunta era que, que dónde pueden conseguir esta información si entró tarde a la reunión y quería recordarles que, no, que esto es grabado. So vamos a tener la, la grabadora en, en nuestras páginas de web y también um, vamos a mandar una carta con toda esta información. Right, I will give everyone a few more moments. So please, if you have any questions, please go ahead and put them in the chat. Uh, good question. There is a question about how will this school year affect our students applying for high schools? Um, I can go ahead and answer that. Maria, if you could just repeat the question in Spanish, then I'll go ahead. So, una muy buena pregunta que hicieron fue um, que, que eh, Trabajan, estudiando en remoto, um, ¿afectará a nuestros estudiantes entrando a la escuela superior? Yes, so um, we've been thinking a lot about this as we put together the report cards for this year. Um, and Ms. Concepcion, our secondary school's guidance counselor, um, is always working on transcripts. So if you have a child in sixth, seventh, or eighth grade, um, their grades from this year will be on their high school transcript. So, nosotros hemos estado pensando en esto y trabajando con la señora Concepción, que es la consejera de, de la, para la escuela superior de nuestros estudiantes. Um, y si usted tiene un estudiante de 6, 7 o octavo grado, um, sus transcripciones serán añadidas um, para el año siguiente. Um, so, luckily, most of the information that is communicated to high schools in a regular year is still the same information that will get communicated to high schools. So attendance information is very important. Um, scholars' grades are very important. You'll see that on their report cards. Um, any uh, discipline data is relevant, though that uh, is different in a remote setting. Um, so we've done our best to make sure that all of those things will still be reported for high schools, um, including recommendation letters and things like that. So todo, todo lo que nosotros mandamos para las escuelas superiores va a ser lo mismo y, y, y estamos uh, usando toda la misma data, como por ejemplo um, la tendencia. So es bueno que ustedes um, tengan una buena tendencia, sus grados, um, su comportamiento, aunque va a ser un poco más diferente por remoto, pero nosotros estamos trabajando en manera de que todo sea reportado normalmente a las escuelas superiores. And if you have any more uh, personal questions about how any of us will be 
um, portrayed to high schools, please feel free to follow up with Ms. Concepcion and I can put um, her email in the chat in a moment as well. Um, ella además dijo que iban a hacer recomendaciones como lo hacen todo el tiempo. Y si usted tiene alguna otra pregunta um, sobre cómo va a funcionar y qué, y qué información se le va a dar a las escuelas superiores, se puede contactar con ella o con la señora Concepción. All right, well, thank you all for joining us this evening. Um, I think at this point, we'll go ahead and conclude our family Zoom. Um, if you have uh, any other questions, please, as always, go ahead and contact us and let us know. Um, and thank you so much for joining us. So, eso es todo. Gracias a todos por estar aquí hoy. Um, si tienen alguna pregunta, uno los puede mandar a nosotros y nosotros de esa la contestaremos. Gracias por todos venir. Thank you. Gracias.